I use small baits all year round because the way I fish is all particle related. So I use all little small seeds and small boilies, bits of sweet corn. Um, so the whole spod mix I use is designed to get down to the bottom and keep the fish grubbing round for a long period of time. I always introduce my small, small baits with a spawn um, and I always spot as accurately as possible. So once I'm clipped up to the distance, I aim for a certain sort of marker on the far bank and I always try and drum every spawn down the same hole so that I get a perfectly tight bed of bait that has got loads and loads of particles real tight together that keeps the fish grubbing around for ages. When the fish get onto the spot and start feeding, I just think they're just hoovering up mouthfuls and mouthfuls at a time. So they're picking up the boilies, they're picking up the hem, they're picking up the corn. I don't think they're specifically targeting one bit over anything else. I just think they're literally, there's so much a concentration of small baits down there that they're just, I've seen underwater footage, I filmed them myself, and they're just taking up mouthfuls of whatever is in their path at the time. Go, going into the winter when it gets a bit colder, obviously the fish's metabolism slows down, they don't eat so much. So yes, I still very much fish exactly, well fairly pretty much the same as what I would do in the summer, but I just scale it back a little. I don't, I don't put so much bait out. Sometimes, depending on the venue, a lot of places ban maggots now, but sometimes I put a bit some maggots into the spod mix, sometimes some casters, sometimes a bit of chopped worm, just to give them something else to sort of look for in the swim that just leaks off a bit of attraction. And they love eating anything sort of semi-natural in the winter, so that's the only time I really change anything. Sometimes I'll add a little bit extra to the spod mix to give it a boost. So the mix through the winter is still the same. I still use the little 10 mil boilies, sweet corn, hemp, but I just add, add an extra thing to it sometimes where, where those items are allowed, um, just to give that spod mix a bit more of a boost. But the theory's still the same, I'm still spodding accurately, and I've still got a lot of particles down there to keep the fish coming in and grubbing around for as long as possible. The majority of the time I do use a shelf life boilie as opposed to a freezer bait. I think nowadays the quality of a shelf life is far closer to the quality of a freezer bait, whereas like, 10 years ago a, a shelf life was rock hard and it just seemed like a fish could never digest it whereas now there's there's not much of a difference so i always keep shelf lives in the van because of they don't go off and if i start catching more i can put more in and i don't have to worry about keeping them or anything so it's more convenient really and i don't think it compromises on quality by using a shelf life as opposed to a freezer bait I don't believe in washed out baits myself. It's not something that I do believe in. I like them to have as much attraction as possible. But at the same time, I do like my boilies to be soft. I'm, I'm of the belief that the softer a boilie is, the more digestible it is, which if you think about it, it should make sense. If it's soft, the fish can eat it, crush it up in their back teeth and swallow it quicker and they'll be able to eat a lot more. The softer baits, some which you soak in a flavour or soak in with your spod mix or hemp juice, softer baits, I just think the fish can eat them better, find them more attractive and I'll always use a softer bait. When it comes to hook baits, fishing over particles, because everything in the swim is really small particles, you always want a small hook bait. So I tend to always use a 12 miller, nothing bigger than a 12 miller. And to be fair, one of my little sort of top things that I do, I get my 12 mil Northern Specials and I air dry them for even longer and they shrink down even more. So my sort of 12 millers are more like a 10 or an 11 miller and they go, they go rock hard, which means they absorb less water. So they stay buoyant for a lot longer periods of time. So I could quite happily leave one of those out for sort of 12, 24 hours, knowing that it's rock hard and not gonna, the buoyancy is not gonna change or anything. And, uh, and I can leave it out there for longer periods of times without having to recast and spook the fish. My favourite capture that's from, from using the small baits, I mean, pretty much all my fish this year I've caught using the small baits and that. Um, probably Kempe's linear was great. Um, CC Moore were down filming with me at the time, so I caught it live for the camera. And it was a fish that I'd wanted to catch for uh, 10 years or more and um, at just over 48 pounds, I think. I think it goes without saying that was probably one of my most notable captures, but also in the British Championships final. Same tactic, same rig, same little hook baits. Um, between me and Bart, we had the posh Sutton and one called Night, Not Mike's Pet at 42 in just under 40 as well in the morning. So a brace of near Raysbury 40s in the British Championships final, that's uh, very memorable as well.